chapter dashes in the sea off the coast of Busan, inside a giant wall of water droplets, Stardust stared uncomfortably at Egostic, who was offering to take Ariel with him. The villainous organization later suddenly unleashed a terrorist attack on Busan, and the truth behind the attack, she realized, was simple. She, Ariel, wanted to be with him, to get his attention, from the sounds of it. They've known each other since the beginning, and it seems that he refused to let her join his villainous organization, the Agost Dream, and her terrorism is the result. So, to summarize, another woman came forward and said she wanted to be with him. And this is the situation. I guess you two know each other. More than that your house, Stardust didn't like this, not at all. She said it with her arms crossed and a cold voice. Why did it make her uncomfortable that he had another woman in his home, when surely there was nothing between him and her? No. As she thought that, she changed her mind. No, they weren't. He and she, hero and villain, bound together by their mutual enmity, and he had told her that she was important to him. I mean, it's not weird to feel this way, this way, and when a villain is about to recruit a new villain, it's natural for a hero to be angry. Actually, she's not sure that's the only reason. Anyway, it was in this state of mind that Stardust opened her mouth to speak, her face still cold as she turned to face the panicked agostic, Stardust, suddenly, he turned to her, ho. Oh. He came out of nowhere, out of thin air, toward her, before Stardust could question, what is this? He was moving toward her with such speed and ferocity that Stardust panicked, before Stardust could think further, Agostic was standing in front of her, saying in what, what, she crossed her arms and looked up at him, trying to keep a cool face, but inside she was extremely confused, and whether she knew it or not when they were within breathing distance of each other, Agostic looked into Stardust's eyes and spoke, Stardust, do you know that I actually value you more than anyone else? Who? They were both soaking wet from the rain that had been falling all the way up to the ocean, with his hair shining with a slight reflection of water, as if he had just gotten out of a bath. Agostic smiled quietly, You're so good, 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 always putting others before yourself, that I never for a moment thought you weren't great, and you're more beautiful than anyone else. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, actually so, there's something I wanted to say to you Stardust, that I didn't want to say here. Agostic words come out of nowhere, caught off guard by the unexpected turn of events. She forgot about her anger at Ariel and became dazzled by what was happening. In fact, there was a blue-haired Ariel in front of her, her face covered with an embarrassed blush. I, I don't mind being second. What the hell is she talking about? While Stardust was blushing red in embarrassment at this sudden turn of events, Agostic suddenly grabbed her hand. Stardust. Oh, ho. <sighs> at that moment, Stardust looked at the serious face of the man holding her hand and didn't know what to do. So she didn't even think about grabbing him. I'm sorry, ho. With those words the figure in front of her flashed and disappeared. He appeared behind Ariel, and then disappeared again along with her. And just like that, the watery composition that made up the place lost its power and disappeared. Left alone, Stardust stared at his hands in silence, then muttered, Hey, a egostic bounced away. The attack ended without casualties, except for a dazed Stardust. Breaking news, Busan terrorist attack over it looks like Egostic ran off with the kid who caused the terror. Anyway, today's Sukla's hero Mangostic won victory in a gentle manner. Comments now it's just everyday life Hagakoria is not going to go back without Egostus if it weren't for Egostic. The world, let alone Korea, would have already been destroyed by the Moonlight Gate low. Moonlight Gate just Mango, lifelong villain should do it shakes his head Mango is unravel the way face to face video. So what happened? Anyone want to clarify the situation? A woman from latest started a terrorist attack. It ended with Agostic taking her away. What happened to that woman? It'll end up with a mango coupling between the two of them. After ending Ariel's terror in Busan, I returned safely with the help of Yin Wu, who was waiting nearby. Ariel and I were sitting on the couch. Ariel, Vegan. Hate had already been quite a while, and the sun was setting outside, in the sunset lit living room. I sighed and looked at Ariel. Shouldn't you go home? No. Ariel looked up at me with her emerald eyes and said so, at such a stubborn response from her, 
aside and explained why she had to go back, truth be told. Even I wished Ariel had stayed with me. For one thing, she'd proven herself capable with this attack. She had water manipulation powers almost as strong as in class hero. So of course she'd be a great addition to the force but if there was a problem, wouldn't your father be worried? Yes, it was that she was the daughter of Atlas. Atlas is the world's top class powerhouse and my trusted guardian. There's no way he'd allow his daughter to stand beside me in Korea, far away from him. I thought, she said she wanted to be there, he he, egostic. Are you okay? What? Atlas, you don't object? He he, if she says she'll stay by your side, there's nothing to worry about. Even if I don't trust everyone else, I know who you are, he he, and I think it's not bad that she can experience the world, him, the world. Don't you think you trust me too much? Oh, I had my doubts, but I had to admit it, Atlas has always been like that, by the way. Tell Ariel that if she ever runs off with my men like this again, I won't let her get away with it, ha ha. Yeah, anyway, with that dire warning, we exchanged a few more words. I decided to let Ariel into my ego stream after all, since I had no reason to refuse if Atlas would let me. I'm sorry if I've been a pain in the ass to you, but next time you come over, I'll treat you to a big meal. And you left to take care of my daughter, Hannah. Ha. Anyway, with that, I'm going to call you son in law after this, Hannah. Ha. The call ended with a joke from Atlas that I found hard to take, take, take. Okay, okay, Ariel, you're coming to live with us starting today. Really? Ariel's emerald eyes sparkled with delight. She became the tenth member of our Ego stream. Afterward, I announced the news to the rest of the Ego stream, who were watching us curiously from across the living room and introduced her. Hi, I'm Ariel. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Everyone smiled warmly, including Subin and Yin Wu, and welcomed her as a new member. Even Su Jade Young thought it was funny, saying they didn't you picked up a new girl again. Hey, another competitor of course, in the case of our Su Jun. She had a bit of an embarrassed reaction. Oh Su Jun, you're the famous genius hacker South Silver, right? You've been with Inigo Stream since Egostic first attack, who, who, Ariel looked at Sujin, her eyes sparkling as she approached, and then looked momentarily flustered as she saw Sujin, looking at her enviously and clasping her hand. I've been a huge fan of yours, you're the one responsible for all of our hacks, right? And whoa, I think you're even cuter in real life. Eee, really? She smiled at Ariel, who smiled and bombarded her with compliments. Pam? Ariel will fit right in. Anyway, the day went by in a blur. That night, after showing Ariel to her new bedchamber, I finally made it back to my room and had some time to myself. Sitting on my bed, I replayed the events of the day, from traveling all the way down to Busan to stop Ariel, to meeting Isikal and raising her and then meeting Stardust. Stardust. Come with me. Before fleeing with Ariel, I briefly approached Stardust, flustered her, and ran away, feeling like I was going to get caught. Something tells me I'm going to get screwed if I see Stardust again. But whatever, I had other things on my mind, I'm sure it's not. But for some reason, I've been having strange thoughts lately. No way, Stardust is going to kill me. No, of course not. That can't be right. I must be overthinking things again, then, again. I'm lying in bed thinking about it.